Hi guys, welcome to Sorte at Sight. Like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for latest updates and recipes. So to prepare the misal, I had soak half a cup of whole green moong, one cup of yellow watana, and I have soaked it overnight and drain off the excess water. So you can use a combination of both. You can use the complete usal like chana and all these other things as well. The choice is yours. But uh, I'm just going to use moong and watana today. So the first step is I'm going to prepare the usal. So for preparing the usal, I've taken the cooker. I'll heat it with some oil. Once the oil is heated, I will add half a teaspoon of jeera. I'll let it splutter. Then I'll be adding one small onion, finely chopped. Saute the onion. Then I'll add in grated ginger and garlic. I'll saute this until the raw smell of the ginger garlic is not gone away and the onions are nice golden brown. Once the onions are golden brown, I'll add in the masalas. I'll add in some garam masala, turmeric powder, chili powder. Mix it well. I'll add in some tomatoes. And mix this really well. I'll add in some salt so that the tomatoes cook quickly. Now I'll add in my batana and moon. Give it a quick stir. I'll add in water. Add in salt as per taste. Mix it well. And let this cook with the lid covered. Give it 8 to 10 whistles. And let the watana and the moon cook completely. So the next step is I'm going to dry roast some spices. I'll add in 1 inch of cinnamon stick. 4 to 5 cloves, 1 tablespoon cumin seeds, 1 tablespoon sesame seeds, 1 tablespoon coriander seeds, and I'll roast them. I'll also add in half a cup of desiccated coconut. Continue roasting this ingredients until it's nice and aromatic and the desiccated coconut turns nice golden brown. So guys as you can see the coconut has turned nice golden brown and it's nice and aromatic. And this is also known as the cut masala and it's used in various Maharashtrian dishes. Usually they just grind this and it's like you use it in many vegetables and different kinds of uh, or you can also use it in masala bath. So we're done guys. I'll remove it off heat and let it cool down. Now I'll be grinding the masala for the gravy for the misal. This is the cut masala what I prepared and I'll be adding it to the mixer jar. To this I'll be adding some ginger and garlic roughly chopped, some roughly chopped onions, about 3 green chilies and coriander leaves with stock, a bunch of coriander leaves with the stock. I'll add in some water, not much, little bit for the grinding and proceed to grind this. 
into a nice smooth paste. So guys, the masala is now done. It's nice and fine. And this is how I want my uh, masala to be ground. So the usal is done guys. Let's check it out. It's nice and yum. The vessel is now heated and I'll add in some oil. Add in some generous amount of oil. Once the oil has heated, I'll be adding the masala paste. I'll nicely saute the masala. for about 3 to 4 minutes and nicely sauteed the masala and now I'll be adding Kashmiri chili powder well you can add a normal one also but it won't give you that color and it will be very spicy the missile so to make it mild spicy and to give it that nice red color better to use Kashmiri chili powder I'll be adding about 3 tablespoons of Kashmiri chili powder. Mix it well. Now I'll add in the usal. Mix the masala as well. I'll add some generous amount of water. I'll add in some salt as per taste. Be careful because you have already added salt before. I'll add in some sugar. Stir it well and bring it to boil. I'll cover it and keep and let it boil. The mixture has now come to a boil. And now I'll be adding some raisins. This is optional and lemon juice. I'll let it cook for another one minute and remove it off heat. So let's serve the missile. We'll garnish it with some onions. Squeeze some lime and top it with some farsan. Serve it with some nice fresh pow and enjoy your missile pow guys. I hope you like this recipe. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and show us your love. So I'll see you next time guys.